Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how to create a web application using the DevExpress ASP.NET project wizard. The easiest way to create a project with DevExpress ASP.NET controls is to use one of the DevExpress project templates. So let's explore the templates and their options. Start by creating a new project. Select the DevExpress Visual C Sharp or Visual Basic set of templates. Then click Web. There are several ASP.NET Web Forms and ASP.NET MVC templates. These help you by setting up the project with references and web.config settings for DevExpress controls. They can also help you with creating a basic layout so that you can get your website ready to deploy faster. Templates for the web include Outlook-inspired application, tablet application, and empty web application. I'll select the DevExpress ASP.NET Web application here at the top to invoke the project wizard. Now the DevExpress ASP.NET project wizard appears. The wizard contains several tabs. The first, Choose Layout, allows you to select one of the predefined layouts. The standard layout allows you to create an application similar to the standard Visual Studio ASP.NET template. The empty template creates an empty application that's ready for using DevExpress ASP.NET controls. The Outlook layout allows us to simplify the development process when creating an Outlook-inspired application. You can also use it as a fully functional application sample to learn how DevExpress ASP.NET controls work together. And finally, the custom layout gives you a common five-section web layout, but it also lets you choose which areas to display. Additionally, I can specify the control to place in a particular section. I'll choose the custom layout for my application. I'll leave a menu in the header, select Tree View for left area, and keep a grid in the client area. Note that if I choose to set the client area to empty, then you have the same layout that we use for our other training videos. Next, click the Theme tab. It allows you to choose one of the many beautiful and stunning themes. I can select one of the predefined themes and get an instant preview of how my website will look. Let's select the Metropolis theme, which has a clean, professional, and modern look to it. The Site Configuration tab allows you to define configuration settings that apply to the entire web project. The DX Control Settings tab allows you to define settings that relate to the DevExpress control functionality and apply to the DevExpress controls across the entire site. The Localization tab allows you to select a language that will be used to localize user interface elements of DevExpress controls. By default, we provide localization resources for four languages. I'll click Create Project, and now the DevExpress wizard will create a new and complete project with the options we've selected. Let's run the application and see what it's produced for us in the browser. You can see that we have a menu in the header, tree view in the left panel, and a grid in the center area. The controls are already bound to a small amount of demo data in the project, so you can see how the controls will look. And it's also easier for you to see how to bind the controls to your own data. Now let's return to Visual Studio and explore our new web project. The web.config file contains all the necessary resources, for instance, assemblies, control prefixes, modules, and handlers that are needed for using DevExpress ASP.NET controls. The default.aspx page contains an ASPX grid view control. Please note the DX comments that are inserted to help guide you. And we can get a quick preview by going to the design view. Now let's add the DevExpress HTML editor control to a new page on our website. I'll add a page called htmleditor.aspx. Then drop the HTML editor control in the content area. And set the width to 100% so it fills the area. Let's go to the design view to get a quick preview. Now I'd like to use the left side tree view to navigate between the pages. Start by opening the main master page where the tree view is located. By checking its data source, I can see that it's bound to the sidemenu.xml file in the app data folder. I'll open the file and change the content. The menu can use the simple XML structure of items names and the navigation URL, which I've specified for my two main pages under the modules section. The root master page contains the title authentication links, top menu, and footer sections. Let's change the title of the project to My Project. 
The ASPX label control is used to show the signature and is bound at runtime. Let's customize it to say My Company by modifying the text property in the code behind. The top menu is bound to the topmenu.xml file. Modifying it is easy as well. Let's run the application and see it in the browser. Now the top and side menus have been updated. The tree view navigation is now adjusted so that when I copy items from the grid view, I can now use the tree view to switch to my HTML editor and paste the information. I'll select the pasted table and bring up the table properties dialog and then change the border appearance. Then go to the preview tab to see an HTML preview of the markup. All that and more can be done by the end user at runtime. As you can see, the Metropolis theme is applied to all the DevExpress controls because I specified this theme when I created the project. But you can easily change the theme to another one. I'll return to Visual Studio and run the project wizard via the DevExpress menu. On the Choose Theme tab, I select a new theme. Let's see the results in the browser. Now the application looks very different with a new theme, but it still functions exactly the same across all the browsers. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.